Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are talking about witch attacks at Town Hall 9. If you haven't heard, uh, witches are pretty powerful now. They got the buff in the update, um, they do more damage, and they have more hit points, so they are going to be pretty powerful. This one uh, features 10 witches in this first attack, but we're going to look at a handful of attacks today talk about them, uh, the strategy, and then maybe in the future I'll make a video on how to defend witches. There are a few things you can try to do, but um, I still kind of have to look and see what the best options are going to be for defending witches at Town Hall 9. But anyway, um, doesn't even have to be that clean either. Just put five witches on either side, two healers, and look at this max freeze spell. That's another thing that we've been seeing with the witches is just freezing whatever is available, sometimes the queen, sometimes the CC troops. I'm just trying to drop the freeze on a bunch of like defenses and or defensive units and get those frozen for a short period of time. So um, this one, pretty much nothing went into the base, but luckily this base had like nothing in it. So that's a great... Um, thing to look for for these witch attacks is bases that just don't have main defenses in it you can see there's like a bomb tower and air defense nothing too serious the uh one of the flanks actually comes into the base so he uses the second jump spell there um a bit of a weird attack how it worked out but it just shows the power of these witches they just do not die that easily especially with the healers on them now the healers do have some reduced healing effects but really that's been negligible compared to the buff the witches have gotten um so these are going to be a go-to for town hall nine especially if you had those level two witches heroes should typically be somewhat higher level um, but really you can do it with 10-10 heroes if you execute it correctly, send in some wizards and bowlers, make sure you have enough DPS inside the base. Um, we'll fast forward because it takes forever to get through here, but um, gets the expo and then this troll test, the down at 6, gets that taken out as well. So let's move along. A lot of these, like I said, using that freeze spell, which is pretty cool to see. I suspected it might be popular. Um, for whatever reason, Tornado here only had access to a level 3 freeze spell. I guess a Town Hall 9 donated it to him, uh, which is unfortunate, but still works alright. Um, pretty similar thing here. Witches on either side, has the healers for him, um, and then is going to, I think, send in a few witches, kind of with the kill squad. And that's something you can do, is especially at Town Hall 9, when you don't have to deal with quite as much uh, DPS inside the base, send in like one or two witches with the kill squad to make sure you have enough damage, enough stuff running around inside there. Um, just adds that extra little bit of uh, mustard the kill squad needs to get through the base. So bowlers going through, that's basically what you need. Um, like a golem, both heroes, the bowlers, and then quite a bit of spells, two jumps, two rages often. Um, that will do the job, and the witches can typically clean up the outside. Now, uh, that was a really nice freeze on those expos, especially because um, it took a minute for the bowlers to kind of come back and start targeting them. So nice stuff there. Um, often you can get some good value for the freeze if you just kind of wait and see where it's needed. Um, one thing I think for defending this attack as we fast forward towards the end here, um, I think putting those air defenses towards the outside, like a little bit to the inside of the base, but still pretty close to the outside, and spreading them out around your base can help kill the healers. And that's kind of the first step to uh, screwing up a witch attack, is killing the healers, whether it's with the air defenses or maybe throw a few seeking air mines in good locations on the outside of the base, something like that. Because um, you want to get those healers killed, then you want to have a few giant bombs lingering. I think a giant bomb with a few little bombs next to it can kill an entire witch. Um, maybe even regardless of whether there's healers on it. I'll have to look into the details of that. But that's another good defensive thing. And of course, you don't want to make a base that it can be easily jumped through by two jump spells. Make it a little bit harder. Um, the solution often is not going to be putting stuff around the outside of your base, but really packing the, the core and making it difficult to predict the pathing, but at the same time having a lot of DPS in the core of your base. You'll notice a lot of these bases that we're seeing, there's really not much inside the base. You have the CC, some storages, bomb tower, uh, air sweeper, some heroes. The expos are kind of in the middle, but... Really, you can make these Town Hall 9 bases more compact, and I'm suspecting the new meta at Town Hall 9 um, is going to be a little more compact, um, just to kind of defend against some of these attacks that just kind of run wild and take advantage of how spread out the bases are, letting the witches just kind of regenerate and not get targeted too seriously. Um, this one was crazy. The heroes go to the outside of the base. 
Um, doesn't really matter. The expos won't quite go down, but things will eventually kind of wrap around and take all that out. So Town Hall 9, um, I made a video pretty recently. Is Town Hall 9 still like a relevant Town Hall level? I want to say it still is, but uh, a lot of you guys in the comments disagreed, and I definitely see what you're saying with some of these attacks. It's kind of uh, almost broken. So I'd like to see some kind of defensive buff at Town Hall 9. We've seen a lot of changes with new offensive options, new CC troops you can bring, um, but you, know, you never know. Maybe like the Electro Dragon in the CC, um, something like that might make the defenses better, but I think maybe like an Archer Tower level, if you kind of bring down one of the Archer Tower levels from Town Hall 10 down to Town Hall 9, maybe um, in increase the, uh, the traps or something, make it a little harder. Even if it makes Town Hall 10 harder, that's fine. Town Hall 10's um, in a good spot, but it could be a little harder as well. So I, I'd like to see some kind of change because you can see these two expos kind of funny enough don't quite go down, but the witches are just too powerful. They wrap around with the heroes and this thing's pretty much over. The witches actually do a significant amount of damage now. Um, before it was kind of like, yeah, they're not going to do much damage. They're going to be sitting there forever on a defense if it's just them. But now they had their like DPS doubled or something like that, which is pretty significant. I think a lot of the um, reasoning behind the witch change was to uh, to make them uh, to change them more at the top town hall levels, as a lot of the updates are is affecting those top two to three town hall levels um, now, including town hall twelve. But um, really, there wasn't much of a nerf as I looked into the details for witches at town hall nine. Um, I think they spawned the same number of skeletons, so just a pretty significant buff, and they already were used, uh, especially by um, certain clans would just use these things like crazy, and they've only gotten stronger, so once again, witches on either side with the healers, and like I said, just a few witches and some wizards never hurts for the actual kill squad. You want to make sure you get through the middle of this base. That's one of the things you need to do um, is to get that core cleared out. Otherwise, it can be difficult for the witches to wrap around and actually come back inside the base. Um, but in this one, he has plenty of stuff in the core to take out the queen um, and to get through to that second expo. So that's very nice. Um, but like I said, the meta of Town Hall 9 base building definitely is going to have to shift and defending against Hogs, La Loon, all that might become secondary to defending these witches. So we're going to see some crazy base designs probably and um, that might open up some other attacks as well. But anyway, um, this attack actually didn't go through the base quite as strong as some of the last ones. Um, a lot of his troops are already down here. The witches didn't survive on the top right, and if you're wondering why not, how do I defend this, go back and rewatch this attack. Look what happened to the witches at the top here, because um, that's what you want to have happen, is the one, if not both, flanks not get through the entire base. Now, granted, this one did three-star, but a lot closer, and um, that's what you want to have for your base. Definitely recommend Troll Teslas at Town Hall 9. Might not make a huge difference, but an attack like this could easily run out of time if there's a Troll Tesla. So think about doing that. Uh, weird Tesla farms. Stuff to mess up the first attacker because honestly, one defense at Town Hall 9 is impressive in most situations. So you kind of want to shoot for that. Any, any other defenses beyond that um, are secondary. This next attack... Um, you can kind of look at this base and see right away why it would be a good base to use witches on. Just very nicely laid out. Um, a few jumps can access the core. I actually was thinking witches from like 12 o'clock here along towards 3 o'clock might be the easier path, but this works as well. Um, and then a few witch, I think it's usually like 3 or 4 on each side, and then a few behind with the wizards. The golem tanks very nicely bowlers in the CC and those level four bowlers just adds to the DPS. You now have even higher level bowlers you can bring. Those things are pretty powerful um, if you get them raged up inside the middle of a base. So just kind of think about that. Another thing that's being added to Town Hall 9 to make it that much easier to three star. Um, so anyway, everything moving through. If you don't have access to bowlers for this attack, you can bring um, more wizards, Valks, um, maybe even a P.E.K.K.A., something that does a lot of DPS that you can get a few levels higher than Town Hall 9 from your clan. Bring that in your CC. Um, it's really just about having DPS inside the base that can clear things out while the witches do the work on the outside. 
because they can do basically a 180 around the entire base. You just have to get through the initial um, core, get the core cleared out, and the witches will wrap around to the back end of the base and do the rest. So this base is crushed. Nice attack to FP HP Judge. We will fast forward to the end. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, like I said, Town Hall 9, a little sketchy in terms of how easy these attacks are becoming, but we'll wait and see, and I'll try to get a defensive video out for you guys on how to defend this attack strategy so it doesn't continue to wreak havoc on your Town Hall 9 bases. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bisectatron out.